Hey guys, remember when you are finding the reciprocal of a mixed fraction, remember to convert your mixed fraction into an improper fraction first. So two times three plus two. So two times three, this is gonna be six. Six plus two is going to be eight. So eight over three, this is my improper fraction. Now that I have my improper fraction, now we can find our reciprocal. So the reciprocal of eight over three is going to be three over eight, and this is gonna be your answer here. Remember, if you wanna check your work, you're gonna do eight over three times three over eight. Remember that your number times the reciprocal has to equal one. So eight times three in my numerator is 24, and then three times eight in my denominator is also 24. So 24 divided by 24 is one, which is perfect. So we know that three over eight is the correct answer. What about one and two fifths? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna convert this into an improper fraction, and then we find the reciprocal. So one times five plus two, one times five is five plus two. This is gonna be seven over five. Now the reciprocal of seven over five is going to be five over seven. And this is our answer here, but let's check our work to make sure. So if you wanna check your work to make sure, you're gonna do seven over five times five over seven. Numerator, seven times five is 35. Denominator, five times seven is also 35. So 35 divided by 35 is gonna equal one. So we know that five over seven is the correct answer. What about three and one fifth? Let's convert this to an improper fraction. Three times five plus one. Three times five is 15 plus one is 16. This is gonna be 16 over five. The reciprocal of 16 over five is going to be five over 16. However, let's go ahead and check our work to make sure. So we have 16 over five times five over 16. 16 times five in my numerator is going to be 80. And then five times 16 in my denominator is also gonna be 80. So 80 divided by 80 is gonna equal one. So we know that five over 16 is the correct answer. Remember, when you are checking your work, the number times the reciprocal has to equal one. If it equals one, then yes, you know that you have the correct answer. 